In this video, we're going to look at the client portal and how you can use it for clients to supply and check their artwork. So I've got the client open, grey post, and we're just going to quickly look at their contacts. So we, see, we can see this one has two contacts. We've got the primary contact and then a second contact here, Christy Grey. If we open her up, you can see that we have it specified as the artwork contact. So I'll just save that. That's going to be important when it comes to the emailing bit just a little bit further on. But I just wanted to bring it to your attention now. Next, you want to click on the artwork tab. If you have more than one piece of artwork showing up here, then make sure you choose the correct one. Also, make sure you distinguish between if it's an advert one or a content. Um, it will automatically default to adverts. So when you've found the correct one, if you just click in the middle on the pink area and it opens up the advert page, by default the background will show pink, the status will be new and the assigned to drop down box will show the assigned user uh, for that client. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the portal to create an email that will go to the client to supply their artwork. So from the drop down box under status, we want to select awaiting customer artwork. You can see the background automatically changes to the golden color and the assigned to changes to the client. And it's picked up Kirsty Gray, who you may remember I mentioned earlier is the artwork contact on the account. If you don't have an artwork contact, designated for the client, it will automatically pick up the primary contact. Now it may be that you want to change that and you can do that from the drop down list. So you, you can see here I could change that to the primary contact if I wish, but for this example we'll leave it as the Christy Gray, who is the artwork contact. You'll likely want to add in a due date. And if you want to add in any notes, you can do that here. If you wanted to add any attachments, you could do that by clicking on the blue button there. And then you would click save and email. So this brings up the preview email. So it automatically brings up the client's email. And it auto fills um, based on their booking. So you can see that it automatically brings up her name and also the booking details. So we've got a full page for Grey Post. And you can see here it has the supply your artwork. That link will automatically appear once the email is sent to the client. So we'll just go ahead and click. You, you actually, you can edit this. So if you want to Add in extra bits and pieces, you can do that, or you can edit the main template, which was mentioned in the previous video. So I'm quite happy with that now. So I'll just click send email. So I'm now going to open up the email that is sent to the client. Okay, you can see in the email that there's a link there for the client to click on to supply their artwork. So when the client receives the email, they simply need to click on the link. and that opens up the client portal for them. So I'm now going to look at two different scenarios. The first where the client has print ready artwork, which they can just upload straight away by using the upload artwork link. So they'd simply click there, navigate to their computer, choose the file and up upload it. It'll take a minute or two for it to upload, but once it has uploaded, the advert will display on the left hand side here. They simply need to click complete. And the advert will be then shown in your Mag Manager account. So I'm just going to switch over to the Mag Manager account. And you'll see here that the uploaded artwork is now showing under the advert tab. So if I click on there, we can see that the status has changed to artwork supplied by customer. It's been reassigned to the Mag Manager user 
and the artwork is displayed on the left side with a green border indicating that it's ready. So that's fine. I can just come out, either cancel or save and come out of there. And then what I'll do now is I'm going to go back onto the booking screen, click on the magnifying glass to take me to the flat plan. And if I switch on show artwork, you can see that the advert is already there in place on page two of the flat plan. Had the advert not been placed on the flat plan, then it would have been over in the sidebar. Then it would just show up under the full page heading and you would see it listed there. Obviously it would show up with the icon of the image when the artwork is switched on. If the artwork is switched off, it would just show up as the client name and the colour relating to it being um, an approved artwork or whether it was still awaiting um, work to be done on it. In the second example, we're going to look at a client who's going to send you some images and text um, for you to design the advert for them. So in this case, they would click on add information. They could choose attachments. So if they click there, they could then select, for example, the text and logo and upload those and they'll be uploaded to the account and then they can just add in any extra text here that they, they wanted to. And then click save. That'll be updated and then if they click complete That's the job done. So then if we go back into Mag Manager and we click on the half page, we can see here a link to the files that the client has uploaded. So if we click on here, you can click on the text document and the logo document and they can be downloaded to your computer, ready for you to work on them. I'm just going to close out of there and go back. Now, if you need to send the files to your designer to be designed, you could just change the artwork status to being designed. And if it's to be assigned to your designer, you could choose your designer from the drop down box and then you can click save and email and that will automatically bring up the information and a link to the advert ready for your designer to create the advert. You simply click send an email and they will receive a copy of the email. So this is the example of the email that Jenny, the graphic designer, will have received and it includes a link um, directly to the advert for her. So she could just click directly on the link and it will open up the information there. So again, she can click on the paper clip here on the right hand side and that would give her access to the downloads ready to design the advert. Once she's completed the advert, she would change the status waiting for customer approval and that automatically assigns it back to the client. You would then upload the artwork. So just I'll find that on your computer and then click open which will upload the artwork. It'll just take a minute or two to upload. Once that's done you would click save and email and that will create the email message preview ready to send to your client with the link inserted automatically. So if you click send email that will go to the client and this is what the email looks like that the client gets. So it has it's headed up please approve your artwork for and then your 
um, company name would be there and it provides a link directly to the artwork for them to approve. So once they click on the link in the email, it will take them to the portal page where they can see the advert. If they click on the little black arrows, it will expand it so they can see it at full size. Clicking on the arrows will reduce it back down. Now you can see they've got two options here. They can either approve or reject. If they click approve, it comes up with the option, are you sure you want to approve this advert? They can either cancel or click yes to go ahead and approve it and it will automatically be approved. I'm going to cancel for a moment. Or there is the option to reject. And so they can add in some extra text in here. So for example, they might say, okay, you've got the wrong phone number. Can you please update the phone number? And then click yes, go ahead and reject. And you'll get that message come back. So in this example, I'm going to do the reject option so I've typed the message and clicked go ahead and reject so if I go back to mag manager and click on the half page uh, advert there it brings it up and you can see the status is now showing as artwork rejected and the color has gone back to pink and you can see the notes have been added here which is fine so I can now go ahead and send this back to my designer so we would update it to um, being designed assign it to the designer and add a note Please update as per uh, client instructions. And then click save and email. And that will be sent directly to the designer and she can make the necessary changes. Once she's done that, she would just upload the new artwork and it would go back to waiting for customer approval and we would send it to the client. So again, you can update the text here if you need to, it will have the link there. So we'll send that directly to the client for them to approve the advert. So we have the new email to approve the artwork. So the client would click on the link and then it opens up the updated advert. They can expand it to check everything's okay. And this time they're going to be happy to approve it. So they would just click the green approve button and then you click the green yes, go ahead and approve it. So we'd now go back to Mag Manager account, click on the artwork and we can see it's now turned green and the status is showing as customer artwork approved. So I'm going to go back to the booking for this client and hover over the magnifying glass on the booking screen there and I can see that they're on the flat plan under half page landscape. If I click the show artwork you can see that the advert is there. So it's simply a case of dragging and dropping onto the flat plan and he's there. Now you may be wondering where you find out when the clients updated their um, artwork, or either rejected it or approved it or supplied artwork and you'll find that in the notifications. So if you click on the little bell icon at the top right of the screen you'll see there's been a number of email uh, notifications shown up there artwork supplied, artwork uploaded, artwork supplied, artwork information added. So these all show up in your notifications. So it's just a case of checking on these and you'll, if you click on them, it'll take you directly to the artwork. Ready for you to review. You can create your own artwork statuses and you can do that by clicking on the gear icon in the top right of the screen and then under publications and booking selecting artwork statuses.
you'll see that there are already a number of statuses set up by default and we recommend that you leave these alone and don't change them. You can add your any new ones by clicking on the green button new status in the top right hand corner and you'd simply select a name for the status a description and then select the relevant fields as required so for example if it's one you're going to use you obviously want it to be enabled and then depending on the purpose of the status it would determine whether you choose the artwork is complete at the status whether it's visible to clients whether the status is an awaiting client approval, awaiting client artwork, supplied by client, approved by client, specified by client and rejected by client. But further down you can change the colour of the text and the background by entering the hex codes in here and then you would just click on save. And that's how you would add a artwork status.